Hello, my friend. When you have tried everything you can to make a relationship work and you have come to the conclusion that it would be best for both parties to part ways and each establish a new life which is going to be more productive and more fruitful for them than to stick together and continue in disharmony or in constant fighting or disagreement or getting in each other's way. When you have come to that place where you've tried everything and you've thought about it and you clearly know that both for the other and for you the best way forward is to start again, then go it alone. Find a way to learn from the experience and build your strength, your inner strength, but also your strength in the world. You should never feel obliged to stay in a relationship that is destructive to you and that isn't enabling you to get clarity in your mind or to establish peace and harmony in the world. And I don't say this lightly because I am a believer in the need for us all to give relationships all of our attention and invest as much time and attention as we can to actually truly understand another rather than judging them or dismissing them or criticizing them. And I'm a strong believer in the possibility of recreating a relationship after a conflict or a difficulty. And I believe that relationships are incredibly precious and that we should give it all we've got to cultivate them and do right by them and the other people in our lives. Yet, there are moments where relationships in our lives become an obstacle to our own development and to our expansion into the world in a way that will be beneficial to ourselves and to the other people we love around us, even though we may have to go through big difficulties. And that's the key, really. We have to ask ourselves, are we prepared to pay the cost of the breakup? Are we able to see through the consequences of it? Because there are always many consequences, immediate ones, intermediate ones and very long-term ones, ongoing ones. These things affect us deeply, deeply. So all of that needs to be put in the balance before we decide to go. If we go in a state of vengefulness or anger or disgust, there probably is a bit of work to be done before we are actually in a stable position enough to rationally and sensibly rebuild our lives. And that is what has got to be the main objective now, my friend. If you make this decision, then it is a decision not just to break up something, but to rebuild something different. And it matters greatly for you to have a vision of this and to know how you're going to do that. It's never any good to jump from the frying pan into the fire. You have got to know what your strategy is, what your pathway is, what your direction is, what your objective is, what your purpose is in doing this, in making this new space for yourself, how are you going to inhabit that space and how are you going to show that you are strong to be in a balanced state on your own 
and how are you going to be connective to the rest of the world rather than just to this relationship you're leaving behind. So think about the new connections you're going to create and how you're going to do that and have a plan and have a routine, a daily routine to make this a positive experience rather than a breakdown experience. So it's got to be about creating rather than about destroying. Think carefully whether you're ready to do this. And when you are ready, you will know it because you will be dying to start on the new and you will really have an appetite for this new life that you're going to be creating with all your might and taking into account all you've learned in the past. Those are the criteria. Bear them in mind. Good luck with that, my friend. And take very good care of yourself and the life ahead of you.